beaten down in the exclusive River Oaks area last week. The 26-year-old went by the name BTB Savage, and just days before he was killed, he did an interview claiming he was involved in killing someone else who tried to rob him. Now his mother thinks that may have led to her son's death. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor is joining us live from downtown with the story. Brooke? Mel, is that a uh, rapper who's known as BTB Savage was posting on his social media. He was doing interviews about that deadly robbery just a few months ago. His mother tells me, well, he was just defending himself and didn't deserve to die. She says she tried to beg her son, stop posting and stop doing interviews talking about this. Gun down near River Oaks, behind the wheel of a car riddled with bullets. The mom of a 26-year-old rapper known as BTB Savage tells ABC 13 that was her son. Renita Ward says her son's online persona isn't how she knew him. I'm not one of those parents who try to cover up, you know, whatever their children's lifestyle is. To her, he was just Darrell Gentry, his legal name. He served in the military for four years and was a father to a four-year-old son. That's who she says she's most proud of. In February, Ward says her son thought he was going to be featured in a song, his rapping career starting to kick off. Instead, she says a group showed up to his apartment in San Antonio and tried to rob him. Earlier this week, the rapper did an interview with Vlad TV describing how he fought off the would-be robber, instructed his girlfriend to shoot him, and then left him to die. When the interviewer asked if he was concerned about retaliation, he said, quote, they might do what they do, but I'm going to get active. That's all that is. On Thursday, he posted on social media standing in the middle of a bloody crime scene. Hours later, Houston police say he was shot in a drive-by shooting. I said, take that off of social media. I said, let this family mourn in peace. Uh, but they were continuing, was taunting my son. You know, telling, he was gonna, they telling him that they were going to kill the family that they're going to make his mama cry like, like my son made his mother cry. And I tell my son, don't respond. But their family member came to rob my son. Now she's forced to mourn the loss of her son, who she tried desperately to keep out of danger. So the moral of this story to me is that two mothers lost two amazing sons and that their children would be raised without fathers. And that's a sad thing. And it was also important for her to spread the message to stop gun violence on the streets. It's there you have it, people. Um, situations happens, but he didn't have to say everything he said on on Vlad TV, and I said that. You know what I mean? He didn't have to tell the whole story. He he told the whole story, but uh, and maybe he felt like he had to get the whole story out. Who knows? You no, know, everything. I hate this happened, but everything happened for a reason. You know what I mean? You can't blame no one for it, but. Uh, you know, kids are always on social media. And and that's how life is. They're on social media all the time. But I, I you know, I hate this happening. And I'm glad the mom been stronger about it. And I, I just wish he had to listen to his mom. Because she asked him not to post what he was going to post. And he did it anyway. And the mom even said that <clears throat> that's not the son that she knew. She knew the son when he had the baby. So uh, mothers love their son. And I wish he had to just let the other guy go to the hospital once he got shot in the back and the chest. I wish he had to call the ambulance so he can go to the hospital. But it over, it's over now. Let God put it in, put it in Jesus' hand and, and uh, let Him control the battle. And uh, this just really teach y'all, young people. It, it's not 
this killing is not teaching y'all anything. So uh, listen to your mother. Listen to your loved one, people that love you. And they're not trying to tell you what to do. They're just trying to give you a better decision to make so you can weigh the possible outcome. Okay? Y'all, take it easy. Let's not blame no one. Um, uh, he might be in a better place. Uh, I'm out, y'all.